Howdy neighbors. Well today, this is, we're going to be talking about doweling, making our doweling, our own doweling machine. Okay, this is one for inch and a half stuff. Now I've got a video, I'll post the link down in the description. A couple of bearings with 5 8 inch and a quarter OD with half inch ID, which means they're half inch dowels would be used in that. We're doing the same thing with the quarter inch dowels. The only difference is you can see these, this is a mortising bit, different than a, a regular bit, drill bit that is. We come exactly 1 16th of an inch from the bottom and we've got them to where these the center space is real close to one inch. So if you've got two inch material, if you've got two inch material, then you're gonna get two holes in there without any problems. Okay, but what we need to do is drill these two holes. Okay, the first one back. Well, I can't give you the exact, I can give you the almost. 11 sixteenths and one and a half, it's probably three quarters, and then one and a half. So that give you enough space for two dowels into a piece of two inch material, which that's what most cabinet stuff is, two inch. This piece here, this is just a piece of scrap, and it is, these two sides and the bottom are absolutely square. So, you don't want anything that's off, even just a sixteenth, a thirty-second, a sixty-fourth. You don't want it off that much. It's got to be exact width, and the bottom has to be exactly square with the with the two sides. All right, and then we got to get our bearings. These are five eighths by quarter inch, uh, five eighths OD, quarter inch ID. And the way these go in, okay, I've got a high legs. Okay, this one's going to go in first. Sometimes they slide right in, sometimes they don't. Then we just need some kind of a 5 16 nut goes in there because this acts, this is going to act as a spacer. Okay, that's in there. And now we've got another 5 8 by quarter inch bearing goes in there okay and then now you see this side has got this aluminum plate over here this is to keep these bearings from falling out while you're drilling so we're going to do the same thing on this side got another bearing 5 16 nut and then another bearing this is going to be our other piece of metal but this was after we put our bearings and 5 16 nut in here. Okay, we've got our both our metal things on here. And the good thing about these, now this is aluminum. Doesn't have to be aluminum. Even anything you got. It could even be lumber. You could even use a piece of plywood. But this will hold the material up against this fence to where when your drill goes in, it's going to be straight in and not at an angle of any kind. Now we got to get our our uh, holder ready. It's right here. This is going to mount on here. We've got to have a stop up here at the front. Okay, I've got our stop on here. And you want to make sure parallel. In other words, it's got to be, it can't be one way, can't be one way or the other because what would happen is one piece would be farther ahead the other piece would be farther behind and then you wouldn't have a good joint so what you want to do is you want to check it really well with a good square and uh, of course I've worked with this one and finally got it right I was having a tough time with it but I got it square both sides are exactly square so now we need to mount our doweling jig on here. And this is the same thing too. This needs to be right up against the fence. 
and you got to make sh exactly sure that it's the same. Now I've already marked this out. I got my line here, and uh, it's got to be exactly the same. It can't be off even just a sixteenth of an inch, because then again, if it's off a hair, one side is going to be longer than the other as far as when the dowels go together. One piece is going to be above the other one. Now again, you want to check it. You want to make sure this end is exactly the same at this end. It doesn't matter the size, the distance from here to there is not going to make any difference. What's going to make the difference is is it is it the same distance there and here. Okay, so we've got the same here and we've got the same there. Now all we need is our quarter inch drill bit. Okay, now let's drill us some test pieces and see what we come up with. Now I know y'all can come up with something better than what I've got. I've just screwed this to the to my cabinet over here. But what you want this would be your style, which is normally the long side. This would be the vertical piece that would that would go on the cabinet. This would be your rail. Whoops. This would be your rail, which would go horizontal, so vertical, horizontal. And uh, what you want to make sure is that there is no space as you come all the way to the top. No space here between your lumber and the stop, and that's your flat against your rail over here, so that your dowels don't go in crooked. Make sure you're against the sides and the, the stop. Let's drill a couple of holes. Okay. The moment of truth. And looky there. Perfect at the top. Dowels aren't long enough. There we go. Okay. Got it together. Perfect this way. Perfect this way. So as long as your pieces are cut square, then you're going to have a perfect joint. Alrighty. Well, I appreciate you watching. Good luck on your project.